In this last session on fundamentals, I'd like to give you an overview of weight sets. So first of all, what are they? Well, typically the weighted count, the WC, will be based on the default weight set of population. So WC equals the number of respondents projected to represent a population figure. You would use a different weight set to calculate your weighted count, V% percent, and horizontal percent on something other than population. For example, households. The asteroid can utilize up to four weight sets. In asteroid, go to settings task, go to weight, and you can see that you have three options for weight sets grayed out. The three additional weight sets would be defined specifically for a particular database, and this would be based on client requirements. If you were using a database where other weight sets were available, you could select the option required. You'll see that we have a disabled option here to use unweighted counts instead of projecting to population. You can switch weight sets off when you want to base your percentage on unweighted counts. However, you are advised strongly not to switch them off. I'm going to change the settings so that we're basing our data on unweighted counts. This has changed our weighted count figure. The reason we recommend that you do not disable your weight sets is because if you were quoting these figures, you're unknowingly quoting based on unweighted count. To illustrate that point, if we switch on our unweighted count, you can see that the unweighted and weighted counts are identical. So therefore, any V percents, any other figures you're quoting are based on the unweighted count numbers. Because it's quite common to not show the unweighted count, if you had disabled the weight set, you may not realize that you are quoting figures based on raw data, just as in this example. I'm going to go back in and switch the set one, which is the population weighted count back on, and we now have correct figures.